Cloverfield is the story of a monster attacking New York. Why is this monster attacking? It is a mystery. But through transmedia storytelling, little details are revealed over a kajillion platforms. This video will explore these, so here's your warning. Spoiler alert. The story is framed by Rob Hawkins and friends. The premise is that Rob is going away to a new job in Japan. So his friends throw him a surprise party. Yay! Until explosions happen, the Cloverfield monster appears, and, well, most of them die. Aww. To typical viewers of the movie, the job might not mean much, but to ad ad analytical fans, it's a heavy detail of the Cloverfield storyline, other than the monster, that links to a lot of other side details of Cloverfield. Rob is going to work for the company Slusho, which the makers of this movie have made a website for. It's a slushy featured in many of J.J. Abrams' works, including Alias, and more recently Star Trek, and Fringe. Usually it's not all that important, but in this it has to do with the origins of the Cloverfield monster. It's a subsidiary company of Tagurado, a drilling company, also involved with Cloverfield, and also with the fake company website. Most people watching the movie have no idea who these companies are, but those wa watching all of the websites will know that they either experimented to make the Cloverfield monster, or happened upon slash discovered him after an accident. It's kind of unclear. What comes hand in hand with Tagurado is Tito Wave, a, co a group of environmentalists set on taking Tagurado down. Upon further inspection on the website, you see a disgruntled sister wondering where her brother is, an operator of Tito Wave, uh, since he's gone missing. This leads to more fake websites, Missing Teddy Hansen and Jamie and Teddy. Missing Teddy Hansen is the sister's blog of her search for her brother. While Jamie and Teddy is a site the brother's girlfriend uses to communicate with them and is password protected. Fans can crack the password and watch these videos, which eventually reveal Teddy was captured by Tagurado on a Tito Wave mission. These websites don't actually allow real comments to be posted on them, as they're all screened for fake storyline. But they do offer mysteries and sleuthing for Scooby-Doo fans out there. For even more information on Tagurado and Tito Wave and Slusho, there is a Cloverfield manga, or Japanese comic, released in, well, Japan, that features two students, uh, the death of one's mother, and a lot of backstory on Cloverfield, like the experiment factor I mentioned earlier. Tagurado and Tito Wave were also featured on YouTube under the guise of fake news feeds on YouTube that covered multiple disasters of drilling stations slash oil tankers being attacked, and were also mentioned on the Tagurado website under their own news feed. These served as hints to the monster and towards its origins in these companies. Aside from these websites, Rob and friends each have fake MySpace pages that were used to communicate to one another before the movie was released, and, well, you know, most of them died. Some of these interactions revealed hints at relationships, like between Rob and Beth, where Rob left about a thousand messages on Beth's MySpace page. Other interactions show that Rob is going away to work at Slusho in Japan, and that his friends are trying to assemble a surprise party and get him out of the house so that they can set it up. Cloverfield is about as simple as a Rubik's Cube, with stories on a handful of different websites mostly intertwined with each other, so you have to plot them all out at once to make the most sense of them. You could literally use a picture web to try and link all these together, so much in fact that some websites do something close to that for you. Grassroots websites have popped up as a result of Cloverfield, Cloverfield Clues being the most prominent, where they collect the information as it comes in, allow for comments and in-depth analysis, and try to help piece everything together. With this many factors and different storylines going on in Cloverfield, it's taking baby steps in the direction of its bigger brother Lost. But don't let the footy pajamas fool you, Cloverfield is clearly a transmedia monster.